what is going on guys i'm back with another video i hope all of you guys are having an amazing day welcome back to a brand new lester cr video in this video i'm going to be playing this brand new night graveyard zappies electro spirit deck this deck is actually pretty op i ain't gonna lie so yeah uh, so yeah guys i'm going to be using this deck in this video today the night and graveyard push is just destroys your opponents with the electro spirit behind it behind your knight just in case they drop off some bats skeletons or whatever it is and you have the poison to finish things off if they do decide to drop off something for your graveyard like spirit goblins goblin gang or whatever it is but before we hop on to some matches i just wanted to say if you guys are new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button like i say it costs nothing extra and I'm trying to reach 800 as soon as possible and I'm trying to reach a thousand as soon as possible that's the main goal guys 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible and yeah man I'm trying to get monetized this year like I said bro so if you do enjoy this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new boys but other than that guys let's jump straight into some matches and let's try to destroy some people with this night graveyard deck alright then guys we found out our first opponent here against Underwood let's give this man the good luck and he's gonna have tombstone, so tombstone can mean one thing, lava hound. But he's it looks like he's gonna have a weird execution in tombstone deck. Let's wait and see what this man's gonna have, boys, cause we I still don't know what his deck's gonna be with executioner and uh and the uh, tombstone, but now he's gonna drop off a giant. Executioner tombstone giant. When where have you seen that before guys? Have you guys ever seen that? I haven't. Executioner is just uh, denying. Oh my god. That executioner is just annihilating us. That's the word I wanted to use. Annihilating us. Oh my. That executioner is just annihilating the freak out of us. But now we can poison down his princess. And he's still going to have to respond to that fisherman. If he doesn't want to take more damage on his tower. With a little fish boy. And let's see what he has to destroy that fisherman bro. Does he have skeletons? What else does, does he have? Electro wizard. Okay. Yo guys do we go for it? Yeah screw it. Let's go for it boys. Let's let's go for it like i said this is the push i told you guys in the intro nine electro spirit and the graveyard and look at that electro spirit taking care of that tombstone what does he that log was a hundred years late my guy that log was like 200 years late and yeah we should have this game in the bag i don't want to say anything because like i said in clash round nothing is determined nothing is determined before you win so don't jinx it guys <laughs> and that's what i'm gonna do here i'm not gonna jinx it so i'm not gonna say that i won yet but i'm just saying that this guy doesn't know what he's doing obviously look at that giant and princess yeah i have never seen someone do that before but let's go ahead and drop off zappies just to deny annihilate that giant did i even need to drop off zappies the answer is no i didn't even need to drop off zappies but i did it anyway and yeah this guy's just cycling a electro wizard i don't know why but He's just doing it. We can cycle the knight just to protect our fishermen. Cause as you guys know the the interaction with the with the ewes and the fishermen is so funny, bro. Like <laughs> like the ewes never lets the the fishermen pull anything. But yeah, look at the electro spirit, boys. Look at the electro spirit taking care of anything. We can even poison down his princess. And yeah, right now this is looking like a good or it been looking like a good game even before we started the game anyways, cause yeah. <laughs> But yeah, all we need to do is cycle to a knight just to a fisherman to pull in his giant. A knight for his executioner. Hunter on top of his giant. And the fisherman will pull it, will pull it closer. Barbara on top of his princess just to take her out. And just like that, guys, we pick up our first dub of the video against a weird giant executioner deck. But hey, we'll take free dubs any day of the week, man. Let's go. But yeah, this guy didn't know what the hell he was doing. But hey, yo, Supercell, can you give me more players like this that don't know what they're doing? please all right then guys we found our second opponent here andres um andres a or andres cortez whatever that is let's cycle the barbell on the bridge to hopefully get some chip damage oh my god i cycled my barbell a bit too early man i he cycled his barbarian or his garden wheel right when i cycled my my electro or my barbell i'm i'm in so it looks like this guy's gonna have the toxic toxic freaking log bait deck oh my who and their mothers run log big deck <laughs> but yeah man if you guys like if you guys like log bay, let me know down in the comments down below and if you guys don't like log bay, what do you guys think of log bay? is it is it so toxic or what because i personally think log bay is so disgusting man 
bait is always disgusting. So yeah, man, bro. He's gonna have wait. Does he have log bear? What does he have here? Oh my god. Hog Rider and Goblin Bear in the same deck. What? Wait guys, can we go here? Can we go for it here? Nine in graveyard? I think we can. Cause all we need to do is Barber on uh, Barber on top of his Carmi. And I don't know if this is gonna be a lot of damage, if this is gonna be uh, some minimum damage, but this is looking like it's gonna Oh yeah, I'm gonna take out this tower here. We can poison on top of the princess. If he does decide to go with the goblin bear, we can electro spear on top of that. And look at that, man. Look at that, boys. Hell yeah. That's why the electro spirit nowadays is better than the heal spirit. Because now it provides more value than the heal spirit now. Because the heal spirit is so dead right now. It can't even kill skeletons, bats. But yeah, the electro spirit is so broken right now, as you guys can see there. But let's go ahead and cycle our, our knight of our own as well in the back. And I can't find a way in my head how this guy can bring the game back, man. Yeah, I can't. I can't find a way in my head how can, how this guy can bring the game back, cause the Zappies and Hunter are only gonna let the hog get off one shot. And yeah, man, there is no way this guy is bringing the game back. Yeah, especially dropping off your princess there, which he's giving me a poison value, taking out his tower and taking out the princess as well. But yeah, man, this game is looking like a good game, well played. Uh, but yeah, look. I thought that this guy was gonna have like the classic log bait deck, the 3.3 electric cost with the inferno tower, the and all that. But it looks like he's gonna have a hog rider in this deck as well. But yeah, pretty weird deck in my opinion. But hey, like I said, super. So thank you for giving me people that don't know how to play or or someone know how to play the game. <laughs> but yeah, electro spear for that bar or that goblin bear as well. And finally, we can activate King Tower with this Hog Rider. Yep, he thought I was going to drop off Hunter or Zappy, something like that. But we are going to activate King Tower in the last 10 seconds. But at what cost? We already won the game. Poison down his Princess, Cycle the Graveyard, and the Electro Spirit. And just like that, guys, we pick up our second dub of the video against Andres. Thank you for running Hog in this deck, which I have Hunter in, in Zappies. But hey, I'll take that dub any day of the week. Alright then, guys, we found our third opponent here of the video against Silence Ghost. We're going to give him the thumbs up. And what is my man gonna have? Another Goblin Barrel. Oh my god, bro. How much Goblin Barrels is he? No way is he gonna have Log Bay this time. He's gonna have Double Bay, okay? Skeleton Barrel and the Log and the Gob and the Goblin Barrel. So he's gonna have Double Bay with Dark Goblin, I believe. He's gonna drop his Dark Goblin right now. He's not gonna drop it off. Do I go for it, guys? Do I go for a Knight and Graveyard? Do I go for it? Cause the yeah, cause the yeah, freak. Screw it, guys. I'm gonna go for it now. Because the only answer he has is Bomb Tower right now and Knight. Wait, he has Skarmy, guys. Can we poison down the Skarmy ASAP, please? Yep. The Knight is still tanking for the Graveyard. But the Prince is in the back. She is so toxic, bro. The Prince is so toxic. But yeah, thank you for dropping off your Goblin Barrel so early. So we can Barber on top of that. And then Fisherman on top of your Princess. Thank you. What was that log? Did Like, did your finger slip or what, bro? That log was horrendous, man. Hell no. But yeah, that fish boy might get on top of the tower and give me some cheeky damage. Wait, it, nah, never mind. Nope. It didn't get on top of the tower, boys. My bad. E spear for all those skeletons. And unfortunately, we have to let that Dark Goblin destroy my tower. Look at that. How much damage does the Dark Goblin do, bro? Oh my god. But yeah, the Dark Goblin is is one of those cards that's so annoying to play. But when you but when you use it, it's actually pretty it's good, man. It's good. But when you play against it, it's so annoying, man. But we have to drop off Zappies for that princess just to, just so she will get off only one sh How is she going to shoot at the Zappies, bro? Oh my god, bro. Yeah, this man. This, this man forgot that we have Barbaro for his Goblin Barrel any day of the week, man. Like, come on, bro. Fisherman just to cycle. And I think I want to go in here with the Knight and Graveyard, man. Yep. Oh my god, this guy already knew, boys. This guy already knew I was going to go with Knight. But yeah, let's poison down that Dark Goblin ASAP. I don't want to deal with that Dark Goblin never, never, ever. And yeah, man. Those skeletons are going to get a little damage, but not that much. We can cycle to another Fisherman. And it looks like he's going to drop off another... And Goblin Bear. Oh my... Look at this Barbaro, guys. Look at the value of this Barbaro. I I thought I would get some, some skeletons from the Skeleton Bear, but it looks like it's not, man. But it's all good, G. Damn, it's unfortunate that we can't get the other Princess, bro. It's so unfortunate that we can't get the other princess, but it's all good. We can drop off E Spirit once again. Just to chain up to all those goblins and let's go, boys. But yeah, does this guy have rocket? That's the question, boys. 
Does this guy have any spell in this deck? Does he have rocket or anything? Let's test if he has rocket, boys. Let's see if he rockets down my hunter. If he does, then he does have rocket. If he doesn't, then no. Oh my god, I barbell so early, boys. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be a good game, man. We can cycle the graver, but nah, this is gonna be a good game, right? We can poison down his Skarmy. Bro, where yeah, there's your Skarmy. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And Dark Goblin, can you please walk up to the poison, bro? That's all I want from you. Can you please walk up to the poison, man? Oh, the, the hunter actually killed the Dark Goblin, which is good. Okay. And now we can Barbara on top of this, too. Yeah, this... That's going definitely to the side. Yep, that's always going to the side right there. And now this guy's just giving me poison value with the princess any day. And let's see if we can break through. Maybe with the E-Spirit breakthrough. Nope. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is... We are looking in a bad spot right now, boys, right? I think I missed... Yeah, I missed one in the back. I always miss that one in the... I always miss that one in the back, boys. I always miss that little one in the back, but it's all good. I think we are able to break through here with the freaking... With the graveyard, but... Bro, how is that poison not hitting the Dark Goblin? Okay, now it is. I was about to say, how is that poison not hitting the Dark Goblin, man? The princess destroyed the princess. Yes, Hunter. I mean, Fisherman. Hell yeah. And the fish boy still doing some work to that. Hell yeah, boys. But yeah, now it, <laughs> he's trying to trick me. Never, bro. Never. I have been playing the game for... I have been playing Clash Royale for four years. And yeah, bro. You're never going to trick me on that, bro. You are never going to get me on there, man. Yo, guys. Can we actually come back from this? Can we, can we actually make a comeback and win this guy right here? We need a fisherman on top of that princess because she gets so annoying. And we need a drop off. Yeah, this guy just keeps on giving me any value of the week. Okay, 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 okay. We can drop off Graveyard and Poison. Yo, guys, come on. Can this be the win? Come on, boys. Graveyard, do your work. Do your job, Graveyard. Nah, th that Dark Goblin just provides him a lot of damage right there, boys. Wait, did we win? Two, one. <laughs> Hell yeah, guys. We pick up the dub against a freaking Log Bait player or a Double Bait. Goblin Barrel and Skeleton Barrel. But hey, we'll take those dubs any day of the week. Hell yeah. We found our game against this man. I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Let's give him the thumbs up. And let's cycle the barbell on the bridge. Let's see if I force out a response for him. He's he's gonna drop off Spirit Garden, so does he have more to bait? Royal recruits. Does anybody know anyone that uses Royal Recruits these days? I haven't seen Royal Recruits since the longest, bro. I haven't seen Royal Recruits in the longest, man. Yo guys, did Royal Recruits die or something? Cause I haven't seen them in the longest, bro. Like for real. Yo guys, I think we can punish him here with Graveyard, right? I, yeah, I want to go with Graver. Let's see if he has, like, bats, I think, or something. Zappies as well. He's going to have his Zappies of his own. So, yeah, that Graver wasn't the best. If I'm, if I'm being honest to you guys, that Graver wasn't the best. But it wasn't the worst. At least we got some damage. A couple of, a couple of hundred damage there. But, yeah. Can we activate King Tower with the Fisherman? That's the real question now. Nah, it's going to be too late, right? Yeah, it's going to be too late, right? Oh, oh my God. Hog Rider, can you just swipe that tower, bro? Yeah, I would figure that it would be too late, but it's all good. It's all good, guys. That Hunter's gonna get off two shots, I think, if he doesn't respond to it. Nah, only one. It's all good. Oh, wait, the Fisherman actually locks onto the tower. He timed the Spirit Goblin incorrectly, boys. That's what we like to see. And we can make him force out more Elixir with the Barbarrel. He might drop off Royal Recruits. Yeah, he is. He is. He's, he is He is indeed gonna drop off Royal Recruits. So this time, we can split our Zappies just to bring all the Royal Recruits to the middle. And if he drops off his hall, we can drop off Hunter any day of the week here. But yeah, look at those Zappies. Take care of 7 Elixir, bro. Zappies are 4 Elixir, right? And they take care of 7 Elixir troops. Oh my god. Just insane, guys. Just insane. But yeah, we can... Yeah, let's do Night and Graveyard. Let's cycle our Night and Graveyard. And let's poison his Zappies because we are approaching double Elixir. He didn't time his Night correctly. So it will body block my Night in the bridge. But if he drops off Hog Rider here, I can go with the I can go with the Fisherman to activate King Tower here. But yeah, he's just gonna drop off Zap I mean Roar Recruits once again. And yeah, that's not gonna do anything for you, my guy. I can drop off Hunter, drop off E Spirit just to stun you a little bit. Hopefully not getting a shot. Okay, the Hog Rider didn't get off any shots. Let's go. And now we can drop off Knight once again. Knight, Graveyard. This time he's gonna body block it with his knight. Yep. This time he achieved it. But we can poison down his firecracker and those spirit goblins. And that might even be tired right now, boys. If I'm 
If I'm being honest with you, that might... Wait, he had to waste Firecracker, Spirit Goblins, and Zap as well. Okay. But right now, we are looking good right now. We are looking in a good position right now. He splits his Zappies. I split mine. I go with the Fisherman in the back. And yeah, this, this is the problem I'm going to run into, boys. He's going to have Royal Recruits. He's going to drop a Firecracker any day right now, right? If he drops a Firecracker, I have to poison that, man. If he drops a Firecracker, I have to poison... Nah, never mind. I'm not going to poison that, man. I'm not going to poison... Wait. Does that activate King Tower? It does not activate King Tower for um, for some reason, but... Let's see if this is the push that, that wins it off for me, boys. Nope. He's going to body block everything once again. He's going to body block everything once again with Spirit Godmans. And the Spirit Godmans are just a good counter to the, to the Graveyard, guys. If you guys didn't know that. The Spirit Godmans one-shot the Skeletons from the Graveyard. So yeah, man, but this guy is not letting me break through for some reason, boys. This guy is not letting me break through for some... But yeah, I think this is it, boys. I think, yeah, I think this is it, man. If he doesn't have Knife or two, Oh, my. My Knight went behind? Why? Why would he go behind their Knights? Oh, my God. But anyways, we can Barber on top of all these troops, the Zappies and all that. The Skeletons did get some damage, right? If I'm not mistaken. But yeah, guys, oh my god, this match is looking toxic right now, boys. Let's see if that Fisherman pulls the Hog Rider. Please pull that Hog Rider. No, don't pull the Spirit Godman. What are you doing, Fisherman? Oh my god, did I just lose the game now? Did I just lose the game, boys? Don't tell me that I just lost the game. Oh my god. Please, please finish it off here with the Grave Rat. Please, I'm just asking to finish it off here with the Grave Rat, please. Yep, it looks like he... Yep. I think I lost the game, boys. GG's, right? Yeah, good game. Wait, can the Poison do it, boys? Can the poison do it? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Yeah, guys. Unfortunately, I couldn't win that match. But hey, at least we got three dubs in this video and one loss. Oh my god. I'm pissed at this freaking guy. Oh my god. Thank you for coming to the end of the video, guys. That will finish off the video today. Once again, here is this new version of a Graveyard Electro Spirit or Graveyard Electro Spirit Night deck. If you guys want to try out this deck, please try it out and let me know how it goes for you in the comments down below. But other than that, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to this channel if you are new. 1,000 subscribers is the next big goal for me. But I'm on the road to hit 800, 900. And let's see where where can we go, boys. But yeah, man. I hope all of you guys enjoy this video. And other than that, guys. I hope all of you guys have an amazing, wonderful rest of your day. Keep on having that positive mentality. And yeah, bro. Um, take care, guys. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right